it's a constitutional crisis. Um, he's uh, uh, dissolved uh, parliament or, or at least suspended it. Uh, he's fired some ministers and there's been a lot of frustration with the government. He's managed to direct the blame for the botched handling of the COVID crisis and the economy on parliament and ministers, but he himself doesn't have a strong record of governing, but somehow people see this as a new start. Um, and I, I don't think that, um, I think it's very dangerous for the country. Uh, it looks very much like a coup. A lot of people have said it is. Uh, the Constitution says that in a crisis like this, you can, um, you, 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 the parliament is supposed to remain in session and he's suspended it, put the army there to prevent parliamentarians from reaching out. So it's a very dangerous moment in the 11th year of the Tunisian revolution, which has been described as the only success story of the Arab Spring, but right. it's never been a full success story. It's been struggling all along, and the COVID crisis is like the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back.